Hello Grade 11s, in today's lesson we will join Tebukho and his teacher as they revise the laws and definitions of exponents and thirds. Let's have a look. Let's start at the beginning with the laws for exponents. Do you remember what they are? Mm, I can remember some of them. If you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. If you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents. Anything raised to the power of zero is equal to one. And if you raise a power to a power, you multiply the powers. If two bases are all raised to a common power, then both bases take the power. I'm afraid that's all I remember. That's not too bad. You've only left out the last two laws. If you have a negative power, you divide one by the base, and then you can make the power positive. And if you take the root of a number, you divide the powers. Now that we have revised all the laws of exponents, it is also important to remember that a rational exponent is an exponent that is a fraction. In the example we are going to do, you will see the exponent is a half, which is a fraction or a rational exponent. Let's go back to Tebukho now. We can move on to using these laws to simplify expressions. We can start with this example. Tebuhu, what do you think our first step should be? I think we should start by simplifying whatever we can that's inside the bracket. That's a good place to start. And how are you going to do that? The only thing I can see are these bases here that have negative powers. We can simplify them by using one of our four laws. The law says that if you have a negative power, you divide one by the base and then you can make the power positive. Well spotted. Can you do that for us? Sure. We can write this 4 to the negative 1 as 1 divided by 4 or a quarter. 9 to the negative 1 is the same as 1 divided by 9. That leaves the fractions in the bracket. Do you think you can simplify the fractions? Sure. To start off with, we need to collect the fractions in the denominator. To do that, I need to put them both over the common denominator, which in this case is 36. Now we collect the fractions and we get 5 over 36. This leaves us with a fraction divided by a fraction. So we invert and multiply. And when we simplify, we get 36. I think I can simplify this even further. Go ahead. 36 is the same as 6 squared. Now, one of the laws say, if we raise a power to a power, we multiply the powers. Here, that would be 2 times half, which is equal to 1, which leaves us with 6. Well done. There is another way you could have approached this example, though. We could use the converse of our law, which state that if you take the root of an exponent, you can divide the powers. In this case, your powers are already divided, which means that you can take the root of the exponent. This will give us the same answer as before. Let's try another one. First, I look inside the brackets to see if there's anything I can simplify. Doesn't look like there's anything. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. What about 16? Since we are working with exponents, it is often easier to break numbers down into their prime factors raised to the necessary powers. This allows us to group and simplify like bases if there are any. We can do this by using what is called the ladder method. Here, let me show you. 16 can be divided by the prime factor 2. This gives us 8. 8 can also be divided by 2, leaving us with 4. Again, we can divide by 2 and we are left with 2. Lastly, 2 divided by 2 is 1.
So 16 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, or 2 to the power 4. Thanks, that really makes it a lot easier to work with. Now if two bases are all raised to a common power, then both bases take the power. Also, if you raise a power to the power, you multiply the powers. So, we get 2 to the power 4 times 3 over 4, and x to the power 4 times 3 over 4. If we simplify the powers, we get 2 to the power 3 times x to the power 3, which is 8x cubed. Good work, Dewoho. You're quite good at this. Let's try another one. Okay. This one looks really difficult. I'm not sure if I can do it. Where's the equation? Don't panic. You can do this. Just take it one step at a time. Okay. The first thing I need to do is write the bases as prime factors. 6 is 3 times 2. 12 is 3 times 2 squared. Now I need to get rid of the brackets. So I distribute the powers. That gives me like bases at the top and at the bottom. I'm not sure what to do first. It would be easier if you simplify the numerator and the denominator before you go any further. All right. If you multiply like bases, you add the powers. And I end up with 2 to the power 6x times 3 to the power x minus 1 at the top. At the bottom we get 3 to the power x times 2 to the power 6x. Now you can apply the second law. If you divide like bases, you subtract the powers. 6x minus 6x is 0, giving us 2 to the power 0. x minus 1 minus x is minus 1, leaving us with 3 to the minus 1. 2 to the power 0 is 1, and 3 to the negative 1 is a third. So the answer is 1 over 3. See, it wasn't as hard as you thought. Yes, you were right. I just have to take it one step at a time. That's right. Now, can you quickly tell me what the exponent laws are again? Sure. If you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. If you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents. Anything raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. And if you raise a power to a power, you multiply the powers. If two bases are all raised to a common power, then both bases take the power. If you have a negative power, you divide 1 by the base, and then you can make the power positive. And if you take the root of a number, you divide the powers. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents and Thirds task video. You'll also be able to learn more about Exponents and Thirds on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.